Africa's climate and development agendas are inextricably linked. Unless decisive action is taken, climate change could jeopardize the continent's hard-won development achievements and its aspirations for further growth. Droughts, floods and cyclones push Africans into poverty and create long-lasting poverty traps. One of the common experiences on climate change is the, the shortage of, of water in Karamoja. During dry season, we experience shortage of water. Our seasonal rivers dry up. The boreholes, although they could be many, normally the water level also goes down and certain boreholes get it dry. La montée des, des océans plus les régions côtières nous effraie parce que on a eu une peur. Ce qu'on n'a pas l'habitude de voir, c'est ce qu'on voit maintenant. Donc c'est une grande peur pour nous. On se pose toujours la question si vraiment nous allons rester sur cette côte. Increased changes in climate will make poverty reduction even more challenging in the future. The African continent is likely to experience a loss of farmlands a decline in crop production and higher drought risks due to warming caused by past greenhouse gas emissions. There is also a considerable risk that warming beyond 2 degrees Celsius may materialize. Should this happen, Sub-Saharan Africa will face even more disastrous consequences. To tackle the climate challenge, African countries need to rapidly scale up action on adaptation. Unfortunately, current levels of funding in Africa are just a fraction of the need and are not increasing at the necessary rate. The Africa Climate Business Plan is a new initiative by the World Bank Group that calls for 19.3 billion US dollars in funding to help African people and countries adapt to climate change and build up the continent's resilience to climate shocks. We think the mechanism of the Africa Climate Business Plan will help us to bring together our partners, um, expertise, knowledge uh, across countries, across the South-South um, uh, partnerships that we need to see so that we can accelerate uh, some of these investments, so we can look at scale, so we can give jobs to people, we can industrialize, we can look at uh, what we're doing um, in terms of climate smart agriculture. For countries like us that are not emitting, the potential for emissions if we're not helped to invest in, in going green um, are huge for, um, uh, for the rest of the world. So I think it's in everyone's vested interest and this particular partnership will go a long way uh, to make sure that we don't become big emitters in the future, but in fact we know the gold standard of how to do it green. The plan identifies several priority areas grouped into three categories. Strengthening, powering and enabling resilience. African countries need to strengthen the resilience of their natural, physical and human capital. Natural capital can be protected by making farmland, landscapes, watersheds and oceans more adaptable. Physical capital can be preserved by adopting smart climate policies for cities and coastal areas. And human capital can be strengthened by boosting social protection programs and addressing the drivers of migration. Some 600 million people and 10 million small and medium-sized enterprises in the region still do not have a connection to the electricity grid. The Africa Climate Business Plan lays out concrete steps for scaling up low carbon energy sources and increasing the use of solar, hydro and geothermal power. The Africa Climate Business Plan proposes strengthening the continent's hydrometeorological programs and building the capacity to plan and design climate-resilient investments. Equipped with more data and better knowledge, African countries can integrate climate variability into their planning and decision-making processes. The Africa Climate Business Plan will contribute to the World Bank Group's efforts to increase the share of its own financing dedicated to climate action by one-third by the year 2020. It will also provide a platform for mobilizing additional financing from public and private sources to help close Africa's climate finance gap.